civilian woman here on Terra Tupa? Yes, sir. She was aboard the transport plane that made that emergency landing here this morning, and, sir, they'll need three days for repairs. Three days? <laughs> well, 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 well. Uh, tell me, uh, uh, what does she look like? Oh, just terrific, sir. One of those new C-51s. It... Not the plane, you idiot. The woman. <laughs> oh, the woman. Yes, sir. Well, um... She's about your height, sir. Oh, big woman. <laughs> uh, blonde hair, blue eyes, and very attractive, sir. Mm. Captain. Mm? Her name's Kate O'Hara. Kate O'Hara! <laughs> oh, I'll take you home again, Kathleen. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Sir, but I think there's one thing you should know. Oh, never and mind I... what you think. Now, oh, where should I be finding this fair Colleen? Well, sir, she's right outside the door. And I... oh, she's right outside the door, sir. Is she now? Well, faith and begara. I'll just be fetching her myself. Oh, good luck, sir. <laughs> Come on, little Joe! <laughs> Hiya, honey. Pull your wall and join the fun. <laughs> Lieutenant. That was your pilot, Miss O'Hara. Oh, loosen up and call me Kate. Kalani Kate. <laughs> Kalani Kate. Now, you listen to me, Miss O'Hara. He informs me that you're being evacuated to Australia by urgent order of the MPs on Bora Bora. Oh, a bunch of old fuddies. You see, I had this little cafe, Kalani Kate's, the friendliest saloon on the island. Yes, it was so friendly, they had to have it burnt to the ground. Now, you listen to me. I intend to see that you behave yourself while you're here and stop flicking ashes on my desk. Okay, honey. And don't call me honey. I'm going to assign you to the nurses' area while you are here. They will supply whatever companionship you might feel you need. You got male nurses? I have nothing, repeat, nothing to do with the men on this base. Okay, all right. And furthermore, I expect to beat Jack in a jiff, honey. Miss O'Hara. Mikhail, baby. Kalani Kate. Hey. <laughs> Sir, they seem to be old friends. Yes, they probably served time together. <laughs> Follow me. Hey, hey, you guys. Uh, I want you to meet an old pal of mine, Kalani Kate. Hi, Hi Kate. Hi. Hi. Oh, say, Clint, you old sea dog. It sure is good to see you. Yeah, how about that? Uh, Miss O'Hara. What do you want, honey? Don't call me honey. Oh, whatever you want, sugar. <laughs> Lieutenant Carpenter will escort you to the nurse's area. The rest of this base is off limits. Off limits? What did I do? Oh, now, Captain, aren't you going a little bit overboard? Yeah, after all, just because she called you honey. Shut up. Carpenter, take that one. Oh, Quinn. Now, Miss... now, he calls the shots around here. Well, that's what I like to give him, a good shot. Please. <laughs> yeah, okay. oh, yeah, well, they saying up. Well, you keep away from her, and that's an order. I'm running a naval base here, not a friendship club. Say that again. Aye, 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 sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bye, sir. Fink. All right, none of that, Tinker. After all, he's still an officer. Okay. Sir Fink. No, oh, that's more like it. Never mind, Skipper. You'll figure out some way to see her again. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no. For once, Binghamton did me a good turn. Oh, no, Skip, you can't pass up on a chick like that. It's an American. Hold it, hold it. Believe me, Kate's a great gal, but she just spells trouble, boys. Such trouble we should all have. All right, belay that, Willie. If Skipper wants to be out of his mind, that's his privilege. <laughs> Sorry, Skip. Gotta take a man sometimes. <laughs> All right, Chuck, uh, you come on along with me, and the rest of you guys go over and draw your supplies, and we'll meet you back on the boat. Come on, let's go. The skipper's been out here too long. Yeah, passing uh, up on a chick he's like that. Flipped. He's gone island happy. Ah, uh, don't worry, we'll straighten him out. Now, here's what we do. First, we gotta get the skipper out of the way. Well, no, what you gotta do is always watch those shoals that are... Oh, I'm a bad Hi, baby. I'm here. Oh, I'm a... Uh... You're a real 
old doll, sending the boys for me quit. That was a beautiful heist. You mean my guys cooked all this up? Uh, now, wait a minute. You being here is a direct violation of Captain Bington's orders. Fancy that, Sonny. Well, see you around. Well, well now, wait a minute. See here, uh, I'm an ensign in the United States Navy. It's been nice seeing you. Thank you away. Guess I'll wait outside, Skip. <laughs> Fred, baby, and all for me. Oh, Quint, I could hug you for this. Now, 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 now Kate, look, I had nothing to do oh, with this. Oh, now, Quint, you can't blame an old sweetie for being sentimental. Oh, uh, no, 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 of course not. <laughs> now, give me back my wallet. <laughs> just want to see if you still had my picture in it. Uh, <laughs> plus, uh, a few of some old presidents, huh? <laughs> yeah. You know, you're a whole lot faster than when I first met you. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Missy. Uh, well, now, uh, take off, take off there. Uh. Hello, Missy? Uh, well, uh, he, he's my Filipino houseboy. Uh, name of Rodrigo. <laughs> he, he don't sound like a Rodrigo. Uh, uh, champagne? <laughs> champagne. Yeah, how about that? Oh, no. Out, out. Comes with a blue plate special. <laughs> Get out of here, you miserable gypsies! You're romantic, huh, Skip? Get out! <laughs> oh. Now that was darn sweet. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're just full of bright ideas. Oh, your magic spell is everywhere. Oh, I knew you well and found you fair. What in a Sam Hill! Any minute now, we'll get the Rockettes. Quint? Yeah? Quint, you know, you're a great guy. I mean, a really great guy. And, well, I was just uh, wondering... If you could put the bite on me. No thanks. But, Quint, all I want is a measly 500 bucks. 500? Hey, condition red! Condition red, fire in the paint locker. Fire in the what? In the paint locker. Is it the nips? No, it's worse than that. It's all lead bottom. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, uh, 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 sorry, sir. I, I was just uh, telling the skip. Uh, we ought to paint the boat. It, it sure looked great with a red bottom. Yeah. How <laughs> red bottom you in a minute? Get out of here. Yeah, but, well, no sense me hanging around. <laughs> Mikhail is operating again. Huh? Uh, 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 Captain, would you like a little bubbly, sir? <laughs> grab a seat, honey. I'm not going to grab anything, and don't you call me honey. <laughs> really got you this time, Mikhail, disobeying a direct order. And as for you, Miss O'Hara... Now, ease off there, Captain. It is nothing so terrible. After all, Kate and I are old friends, and we're just having a bit of a reunion dinner. <laughs> Should old acquaintance be forgotten? Now, Mikhail, you know that I am not a harsh man. Oh, I know that, sir. Yes, sir. Well, this little reunion is only going to cost you a month's pay. And you, you're going to be under armed guard. A month's pay? Armed guard? There seems to be an echo in here. Come on, you <laughs> heard me. Out, 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 out. <laughs> Cheers, sir, Captain. <laughs> This is from Admiral Rogers, sir, at Conflict for your immediate attention. All right, all right, read it to me, read it. It's a new directive, sir, regarding rotation. Personnel with over 24 months of combat duty are to be shipped home. All right, get out of my way, yes, get out of my way. 24 months. 24 months and we'll ship... How many months has Mikhail been here? Well, 25 months, but, sir, the... Ah, no, but, sir, me, not cutting his travel orders. But, sir, the directive special... <laughs> oh, Wally, Wally, Wally. Your lucky day, boy. I'm finally free of Mikhail. I'm finally free of life. It's beautiful. Life is gay. Carpenter, where's Stan still? Oh, this is wonderful. Sir, sir, please. You're not as free as you think you are. <laughs> well, the directive clearly specifies that only married men are eligible. <laughs> married men. Married men. Better than ever. Don't you see what you... <laughs> married men? Married men. <laughs> and Mikhail? Uh, he's a bachelor. Yes, sir. Oh, that dirty slacker. <laughs> But, sir, it, 
It was a very good thought. Oh, the foul luck carpenter just when I came so close. Oh, why couldn't Mikhail be stuck with a wife like the rest of us? What respectable woman would have him, sir? You're right. She'd have to be it. You were saying, sir? I should marry Mikhail. <laughs> why not? You're made for each other. It says you're old sweethearts. I heard you say that. You said that. Oh, sure. We had a few laughs together. But, uh, what's come over you since last night? Uh, well, I, I admit I acted badly. Like a solid gold louse. You come clean. What's in this for you? Miss O'Hara, why don't you concentrate on what is in this for you? For instance? For instance, like $370 a month. $370? Ah, uh -huh, it's from your Uncle Sam. It's your monthly allotment check as Mikhail's wife. Yeah, but I'm a saloon keeper. Who needs a husband around? Well, who said anything about him being around? Don't you see? That's just it. You're going to be safe and sound in your own little saloon in Australia. He's going to be here. All you're marrying is a monthly allotment check for $370. You know, you're right. Quint and I were made for each other. <laughs> and I was starting to roll it tight. Welcome home, baby. Hey, dear. Miss O'Hara, you're back. It's been nice seeing you again. Yeah, but you, but I, I'm going to be outside again, Skip. <laughs> Sit down, honey. Relax. You must have had a hard day at the war. Huh? Don't you realize, honey? It was fate that dropped me on this base. It was engine trouble. Let's face it, Quint. You're my man. You mean you're pigeon? All I want out of life is to be Mrs. Quint McHale. Ho, ho, ho! You should live so long. You're gonna marry me, Oh, uh, come on now. Know it. Get it. Refreshments? No, 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 no. Shove off, shove off. It's all right. Me and Rodrigo, we're great pals. Huh? Oh, that, that swell, swell. <laughs> oh, boy, if old Binghamton ever found out about him. Huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I was saying, Quint, you're going to marry me or else. Rodrigo. Hey, well, we're going to put him in a prison camp. I'll hate myself as I do it, but I'll do it. Yeah, yeah you would. Oh, Quint, you've made me the happiest girl in the whole world. Well, how do I look, honey? Just lovely, Miss O'Hara. Oh, how about that? Me in a wedding dress made of old parachutes. <laughs> the boys in the back room should see me now. Oh, we're all so excited. Commander McHale's a great catch. Well, it wasn't easy. Imagine, you'll be able to fly home together. Huh? Oh, didn't you know? Once he's married, the commander's eligible for rotation. Uh, uh, rotation? He'll be shipped back to the States, and you can settle down together. You mean I'm gonna have to live with a big baboon? <laughs> what? E me keep house? Scrubbing floors, waltzing with a vacuum cleaner. Big pardon? Nothing, that four-eyed, four-stripe rat. Get me out of this! Forget it, Captain. The wedding's off. Unless, uh, you two are interested. Get your hands off me. What's the matter? What do you mean the wedding is off? Wah, 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 wah. A little birdie told me about that rotation gimmick. No dice. Well, you can't back out now. So sue me for breach of promise. Oh, well, what about the allotment check? You pulled a fast one on me. You said Mikhail didn't come with it. I want a saloon, not a husband. Miss O'Hara, I am the commanding officer of this base, and as the commanding officer, I order you to marry Mikhail. Order me? I'm a civilian. Yes, you're a civilian. A civilian with quite a juicy record in the islands. Operating an illegal establishment, passing bad checks, malicious mischief, rolling sailors. Listen, uh... Nobody's perfect. You marry Mikhail, or I'll have you turned over to the police in Australia along with this. So you take your pick, Miss O'Hara. Mikhail or jail. You'd pull a dirty trick like that just to ship him out. President Roosevelt has his war aims, and I have mine. <laughs> honey. Don't call me honey. <laughs>
sir. No business allowed. <laughs> Not even the bridegroom? Sorry, sir. Congratulations. Oh, yeah, thanks. Friend of the groom. <laughs> Come in. Quit, baby. Well, boy, you're sure playing it up to the hilt. Yeah, I sure am. Listen, I want to talk to you. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold it, Kate. Look, there's $500 in here, and it's all yours if you turn me loose. Huh? I'd grab it in a second, honey, but Binghamton's got us boxed in. Binghamton? Yeah, the Navy's got some new rule. If you get hitched, they can ship you home. Ship me home? Why, that... Wait a minute. You mean to tell me he's the one behind this whole wedding bit? Father of the bride. <laughs> Sore baby. I thought all I was marrying was an allotment check. Ah, uh, knock it off, will you? Before you turn my head with your compliments. Ah, uh, Quinn, I know we're great buddies, but can you picture us slurping punch with a PTA? Hey, they can't do this to you, Skip. You gotta call the whole thing off. You can't. He's got a hold of my record. He'll throw me in jail. I got a dope way out. And fast. They've moved the wedding up till 6 o'clock tonight. What? Skip, you gotta do something. I gotta do something, yeah. Do something, do something, do, do something. something. Wait a minute, I got it. I got it. I got it. There can't be a wedding without the bride, right? So, we sneak Kate aboard the 73, and then uh, and then we find a reason to put out the sea like a, like a submarine alert. And then uh, we, we just drop her off in New Caledonia. New Caledonia, that's French territory. Binghamton can't touch her there. That's a wild idea. But uh, how do you get me past those Cossacks outside? Cossacks, Cossacks. Uh, oh, wait a minute. They saw Tinker come in with me, and they'll see Tinker leave. <laughs> hey, look at me. I joined the Navy. Yeah, just enough to spare, too. Come on, let's go. Hey, Skip, what happens to me? Well, uh, now, 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 look, uh, uh, Binghamton, they come snooping, so, uh, so you, you stole them, huh? But, Skip, I can't no, stole them. No, no, it's like the fella said. Tis a far, far better thing you do than you've ever done before. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> Is that what the fella said? <laughs> oh, no. Here comes Mary and Sam. Now, duck, duck, here. Hi, Captain. So long, when you see an officer. <laughs> that grease off your face, you're a disgrace to the Navy. Yeah, get down the ball, Bill. <laughs> Filthy fellow. Well, tonight's the night, huh, Miguel? Eighteen hundred hours, the chaplain turns you into an honest man. Yes, yeah, so Kate, uh, Kate just told me. <laughs> Kate? Oh, yeah, is that bad luck to see the bride before the ceremony? Oh, well, now, that remains to be seen, sir. <laughs> well, we'll see you at the altar, sir. <laughs> Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye, sir. Come on, take a let's go. Come on. How'd you make out, Skip? Did you take the oh, wedding off? All right, all right, stow the gap. Chuck, wind him up. Let go for an act. Hey, Tink, you hiding something? Just me. Hi, boy. Hey, it's Kalani K. Where's Tink? Hey, what's going on? Come on, Chuck. Will you wind her up? Move. We're eloping a new Caledonia before the wedding. Hey, Skip, she won't start. Oh, come on. Let me try. Hey, look, Skip. Here comes the bride. Hey, wait for me! <laughs> Isn't she lovely? Hiya, honey. Knock it off. Binghamton's on his way down here, Skip. Oh, no. I had him talk to the MP, so I took it on the lamp. Out the window. Oh, look, Tinker. Our engines are stalled. Get down there and fix them fast, will you? Go ahead. And don't dirty that dress. All right. Here, the rest of you guys get ready to move out in a hurry. Yeah, all right, here it is. Skipper, let's move. Come on, sailor, let's move. Oh, uh, sorry, sailor. Uh, ma'am. Hey, Skip, it's too late. Look. Oh, get, get down below, below. Come on, the rest of you guys act normal. Look sloppy, look sloppy. <laughs> Uh, hi, Captain. Hi, sir. Mikhail, where do you think you're going? Uh, going? Uh, 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 we're just going to go back to uh, my own island, sir. Yes, sir. I'll pick up my dress white, sir. Well, after all, it isn't every day that a man gets married. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's right. <laughs>
So I hope you're wearing something borrowed and something blue. Because oh, yes. you're not going anywhere. We'll send a gig for your dress whites. Nothing is going to interfere with this wedding. Uh oh, looks like we got some uninvited guests. Hey, get those you ride, abandoned ship! Uh, I mean, battle station! Man, we're just guests! Man, we're sitting ducks here! Go down there and help a help taker! Come on, we're those station! Right, let's go! Right. No! Come on! Oh, get on that gun! Hey, he's abandoned at 11 o'clock! Get him! Right, 11 o'clock. I'm gonna be wrong here. Watch for the pointing, that thing, you nitwit! Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but you're staying right at 11 o'clock. I'm making a quarter at 11. Better make it 10.30, dude. Right. Oh, Bill, don't you ever wash. Take the gun from this nitwit before he kills us all. Uh, let me help you, ma'am, uh, sir. Hey, up, 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 up. Oh, shit, everybody on here anyway. Shoot him, shoot him. How are you trying to pull here, Mikhail? Well, 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 me. You're trying to shanghai this woman. Well, now you hear this and you hear this good. Nothing, but nothing is going to stop this wedding. Sir! Sir! Ah, how are you, this is time, boy? What? All right, down to the chapel forward. Hi! Now, look here, Captain. You can't do this. But, sir, an urgent message from Admiral Rogers. Oh, what does he want? Read it, read it. Yes, sir. Dispatch McHale and PT-73 to Com Fleet immediately to help in searching for a carrier whose planes are bombing your base. Dispatch McHale? I'll do it. Well, but it's an order, sir, and the Admiral said immediately. But the chaplain won't be here for an hour. I'm not going to dismiss you. You're married. Oh, well, uh, shall I radio that to the Admiral, sir? I'll turn the set on. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, we are. It's in... Dang, 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 dang! A chaplain, a chaplain, my kingdom for a chaplain. Sir, I just remember, the captain of a ship can perform the marriage ceremony. Uh huh. Elroy, you've just won yourself the medal of honor, boy. Oh, sir, <laughs> fetch a Bible, fetch a Bible. There's one down below. <laughs> oh. oh. Sir, here it is. Bless you, boy. Bless you. <laughs> I've heard of shotgun weddings, but this is ridiculous. Hey, Skip, the engines are fixed. Uh, Never mind, Miss Bell. Nobody's going anywhere. You just stick around. Maybe you'll catch the bouquet. <laughs> All right, join hands. Not you two, the top two. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we are gathered oh, boy, here today to Boy, the Skipper will go home. I'll take command and we'll all be killed. Fire. Again. Yeah, well, don't call me, honey. I'll call you, huh? <laughs> Bye. So long. Bye. 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 You know, Skip, she ain't such a bad dame. Well, uh, Kate's a barrel of fun, yeah. yeah. Turns out you saved yourself 500 bucks. How about <laughs> Hey, now I can pay you guys back. Yeah, good. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, no. Watch it, Skip. The guys are present. Yeah, she did it to me again. Want us to go after her, Skip? Oh, no, nah, you kidding? Let her have the 500. I've never had it so good. <laughs> Come on, boys, let's go. This bachelor is doing complete. <laughs> hey, take, take, give me your edges, baby. Let go for it. Let go out. <laughs> oh. 